Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Aquarius. Welcome back, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Aquariuses? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Aquarius. Aquarius. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, um, after there has been a struggle, yeah, because we, we have five of cups at the bottom of the deck, someone has struggled to tell you how they feel or say something to you. It's almost like you didn't hear from someone or, you know, it's been a time of resting and a break from someone. Now someone comes in with communication, okay? And they have a lot of regrets from the past, okay? with that five of cups energy. Maybe they were reckless in the past with the knight of swords, okay? Gem Gemini's energy is here with the magician. So it's like maybe someone is trying to manifest coming back in, um, but ooh, I don't know, you guys. I don't know how you feel about it. So someone comes back in with communication after there's been a break. Someone wants to say something, but 10 of wands... I feel like someone feels burdened or, you know, a, a bit, could be a bit guilty that like they're carrying a heavy load, like they're feeling weighed down by this connection. Like, and they want to tell you this, like how they felt weighed down with the two of you not talking or not communicating. So what is this four of swords? Let's just get right into it. We have the ace of cups. It's like, I hear that song by Selena, uh, dreaming of you. I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow. That's what I hear. It's like they're dreaming four of swords, ace of cups. They're dreaming of love with you. We have Libra's energy here with the justice card. Dreaming of you, nine of pentacles. Like dreaming of being with you. Could want to marry you. <laughs> Someone is dreaming. So while you haven't heard from this person, they, they've they been like wishing upon a star, dreaming of you, thinking of how it would be to be with you, how it would be to be to be to be with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll pray for me. What's the page of pentacles, please? Knight of pentacles. Now they're wanting to come in, offer something. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with the Sag. Now they're coming in. They're trying to take their time on like what they should say to you. Or taking their time to figure out what they want to say to you or how to come in, how to approach. Page of Cups. Two pages here. Yeah, it's like, how do I tell Aquarius that I don't want, you know, just the Page of Cups. I want the Ace of Cups with them. You know, they're my person, okay? There's a lot of love here. This person really admires you. They could love the way you dress, okay? Like you, this person is really attracted to how you handle yourself or how you carry yourself. They are really attracted to you. And I feel like they may feel a bit nervous to approach. What is this 10 of wands here? Yeah, the hermit. For some of you, if this isn't a person that you've been talking to, if you haven't, um, you know, there hasn't been a break or anything like that, this could be a brand new person who has just encountered you and they've been secretly thinking about you. They've been in hermit mode, feeling uh, kind of weighed down, overwhelmed, okay? Could be uh, working or overworking. I feel like this person is in hermit mode thinking about the future. Will of fortune. Let's get one more. Look, wanting to be an emperor. They could be wanting to make you um, a spouse. Thinking about stepping up. To I feel like this person just stays. This could be a Pisces for some of you. This person thinks a lot about their future and what they want. It's like, man, if I had an empire with anybody anybody it would be with Aquarius if I wanted to be married to someone it would be with Aquarius it's like I can see this person's thoughts I can literally see their thoughts okay so what's going on and you may have felt like you know love has just been kind of well to me you know the dating game has been kind of boring 
And here comes this person who's really admiring you and you may not even like notice yet or you may not know them, uh, know that they're thinking about you in this way, okay? So how's this person feeling toward Aquarius? How are they feeling? Show me this person's feelings. Queen of Pentacles, okay. How's this person feeling about Aquarius? Four of Pentacles, let's get one more. Two of Pentacles, ooh, okay. So they may feel like <laughs> they need to work hard and get on your level financially, okay? This person could want to offer you a lot financially for all pentacles to come out, okay? This person could be like, man, you know, I really want to give a lot to Aquarius or I want to be able to pro provide for Aquarius. Four of pentacles, I may not have everything I want right now. You know, I, my job, I may be in between jobs or, you know, uh, I work for commission, you know, commission work, and I'm not getting as much as I thought I was going to get. So this person could be a bit insecure financially uh, right now for us to get all three pentacles, but they do want to communicate. They want to come see you or travel or say something to you. Look, 10 of cups is right there. This person is thinking about you. Piscean energy is here. Some of you could have that in your chart, or you could be dealing with a person who has that in their chart if it's not their sun sign. Ace of Wands, big dick energy, wanting something passionate with you. Ten of Pentacle. Aquarius. <laughs> Somebody is thinking about a future with you. They really want this. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles right here. Ace of Wands, wanting to start something so passionate with you. They're a very passionate person. But I feel like this person, they're kind of waiting um, to get more money, to get more success. How are you feeling about this person? Because they see you as the nine of pentacles, remember? If someone is seeing a person as the nine of pentacles, that's like, okay, I need to really step up my game financially, okay? Because they may see you as very independent. Okay, so how is Aquarius feeling about this situation? Ooh, two of cups, okay. Okay. Two of Cups, you might could. Ace of Wands, you really could. And let's get one more. <laughs> Nine of Wands, okay. So you really do want to connect with a person. It doesn't mean that it's this person. I'm just saying in general, you may be looking for your Two of Cups person, okay? With the Ace of Wands. But it's like, that's not all I want. I don't just want passion. Nine of Wands. So you are a bit guarded with yourself. You're very guarded, very protective of yourself because you don't want to be hurt, but you do want a relationship. You're hoping to find a soulmate connection with someone, okay? That's how you're feeling right now. You could be very focused on your work, what you do for work, your career, school, your body. That's the in energy of the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So you're very focused right now. Y'all forgive me if my camera is sliding down. It looked like it shifted a little bit, so forgive me for that. But I feel like you're very focused on yourself and what you have to do. How is Aquarius feeling? Yeah, three of wands. Some of you could be into travel right now with the three of wands energy. And I also feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for a person to approach you. It's like, I'm waiting, yeah, for someone to come into my life who's coming in with a two of cups energy, soulmate energy. You know, you want that in your life. Yeah, four of wands, see? Ooh, you may get with a foreign person with the three of wands and four of wands. You could get with someone who's a different culture, religion, race from you, uh, or just uh, someone at a distance for some of you. Take it as it resonates. But for others of you, I feel like you're waiting for a relationship or marriage. You want something a bit more stable, traditional. Yeah, king of cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone you can love, who you can establish children with, like a family. Uh, king of cups with the three of pentacles. Yeah, you're waiting on that. And it's like, it's okay. I can wait, you know, because I don't want to get fucked over. <laughs> okay. Anything else that Aquarius should know about this person? Whoa, something shout out. Three of Pentacles shout out. Yeah, they could want to work something out with you, want to meet up with you. This person could want to establish something with you very quickly, I feel. How does this person feel? Yeah, Six of Cups. They feel that energy toward you. They feel a soulmate energy, okay? This is really good, you guys. I feel like this person, if they just broke up with someone, they went through some type of period of healing, 
okay, with the Four of Swords, where they weren't really dating. This person um, may be very similar to you. Um, they were probably waiting until they found their Ace of Cups. And here you go. It's like you're a new person in their life. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm really attracted to Aquarius. And I'm thinking already, I'm thinking about a future with Aquarius. And I don't think this person was ready to find somebody like you because they may have just gotten out of something. They may have just healed from another relationship. And this person was like, man, I just got out of something and now I'm already having feelings toward Aquarius that are really big. And I'm thinking about a future with them. Anything else that Aquarius would need to know? Ten of Pentacles. Y'all, you guys, the same cards are coming out. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person is ready to have something long-term committed with you, wanting a home, wanting children, wanting a family with you. That is the energy of the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Wanting something lasting long-term. They're wanting to make an offer toward you. Knight of Cups could be a younger water sign, could be a Taurus Libra, okay, with the Empress right behind there. Now we have a match. Look at this. This is beautiful, you guys. Emperor and Empress right there with the Knight of Cups. This person, they see you as their person and they see you as the person that they could have a future with, okay? Could be a fellow uh, air sign for some of you, okay? That could be, yeah. Look at that, you guys match. You look at that, King and Queen of Swords with the full energy. Okay, let me show you this. <laughs> I gotta show you this. King and Queen of Swords right here with the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles sitting right in between. So I feel like uh, the two of you, maybe both of you like to travel. Both of you like to make money. Both of you like to look good. You, li you like to get uh, attention for your looks. And, th you know, that may sound vain or whatever. It doesn't matter. I feel like um, if you have, like, a social media following or this person does, I feel like um, you're following is important to you. Like your image. That's what I want to say. Your image is important to you. And both of you feel the same way. So you may both admire each other for how you dress or, or you're following on social, social media. It's something like that. Maybe the two of you are both, uh, influencers in some type of way, or, uh, you both have your own business or you're both very driven. I feel like these, these are two driven people. Okay. Who want the same things in life. Okay. You both want marriage. You both want commitment. You both are matching each other. And I feel like you both are very smart. You may be very business savvy. Okay. And, uh, you know, what's up. And this person knows what's up as well. Like there's not much you can get over on this person and they can't get much over on you. And I feel like the two of you like kind of see through each other. And if this is a new person, Aquarius, just get ready. Just get ready. Just keep doing what you're doing. I see that you've been waiting for, for a relationship and I feel like it's getting ready to come through. You're getting ready to meet someone who's actually on your level. Okay. And I feel like maybe this person right now, they've been saving up or they're, maybe they've been going through a job transition or a career transition, but this person don't underestimate them because this person, I feel like they are the one that you've been looking for. Okay. And you may initially be like, mm, I don't know, is this my person or is it not? You know, but I feel like this person is the person that's on your level. There may be a bit of fear here with the moon card. Um, but trust me. Okay. When I say the sun is going to shine, the sun is getting ready to shine. Okay. And I do feel this yin and yang. Look at that. The sun and the moon coming together, mother and father coming together. Look at that. Yin and yang, babe. Okay, let me calm down. <laughs> Opposites, but also very similar, okay? And I feel like you'll have a lot in common with this person. And, you're, and you know how y'all's differences, like when you're dating someone, your differences could be a bad thing. With y'all, the differences balance each other out as the yin and yang energy, okay? They balance each other out. But I feel like you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for your your two of cups person. And I feel like you're getting ready to have that, okay? You're getting ready to have it. But you have been through a lot. And I feel like some of you do have your guards up when it comes to love, okay? Any other insight for this connection?
Can you give us some insight for this connection with Aquarius and their person? Ooh, okay, okay. Coffee cup, yeah. It says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I feel like your first meeting with this person, you're gonna leave the conversation or leave the, the coffee shop with the coffee cup. You're gonna leave the cafe or wherever feeling very uplifted and feeling like, you know what? This person is like a kindred soul. And I feel like it's going to start off as an awesome friendship and grow and develop into love. I feel like the two of you are really going to have a great conversation with each other. Yeah, it's really good. This is such a good energy. Okay, what do we have? Paradise. Look at that. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. I feel like travel is with this. The two of you may go to a, like a, a place like paradise, you know, somewhere tropical, you know, you may travel with this person or this person may be from a place that's very tropical, like Hawaii, you know, Maui, you know, something like that. I, I feel like this person may be from a place like that. Okay. Date. Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> Aquarius, you're getting ready to date someone. For, uh, for some of you, I just heard uh, Samoan, like someone could be Samoan date look you guys meeting someone new dating get back out there plan set a date i'm telling you some of you haven't even met this person yet and if you have you don't know that this is going to turn into something long term i like you they really like you <laughs> they really like you aquarius okay and i feel like this person they're going to kind of bring you to a place where you know what Wow, I, I didn't think people like you still existed. Mm, okay. Wife, queen, spouse. Look at that. Someone is looking at you as their spouse. Someone wants this with you. Anything else? One more. I need time. Yeah. See, I feel like this is not currently. I feel like this person needed time. Someone needed time to go through some type of healing. And I feel like um, once they've healed, they're coming toward you. I, I just feel that energy <laughs> because this person, they feel like you are their person. And there may have been some upsets with this person in the past or even with you, things that you've gone through, uh, which I've already mentioned. But I feel like there's such a serious energy here with what this person wants and what they desire. And I feel like this person is getting ready to ask you out or the two of you may meet up and it's just going to be paradise. It's going to be something that you haven't experienced before with other people. And that's when you know, man, this is my person. Alrighty, Aquarius, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.